And no. Like your 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 like main character is Ditto. I used to be confident in the Ness Ditto and the Luigi Ditto. Um. Until I got rocked at Middle Span Five in the Luigi Ditto. Okay. And I last time I played uh, Gamerhead in the Ness Ditto, I got rocked. Okay. So I've been using I've been counter like in those Dittos, I just picked the opposite character. All right, we got McMuffin and Nero. We got the doubles partners facing off winner side right now. What do you, McMuffin? I've I haven't seen too much of this Donkey Kong, but from what I've seen, it's pretty clean. It, um, it's arguable as his best character because he still has his Ganondorf. I'm not sure how if he still plays Zero Suit. He has a ton of characters. I know he has a Peach. This is the character that uh, Slow Joe, uh, one of our resident Fox players, said that he would pick up for. Oh no! Wait, no, that was the Kirby matchup. I'm sorry, but yeah. same concept. Both Pikachu and Kirby are both they're they're faster, smaller characters that are actually no. Pikachu, uh, Kirby, Kirby, small, Kirby so, so, slower. Slower. Yeah. Okay. But they're both pretty evasive in terms of like trying to get in on them. The, the matchup is is really weird because it's gonna be Pikachu. Pure out, destroying him in neutral, destroying him in combos. But if Donkey Kong can get three grabs, just win neutral three times, that's going to be the stock. Seeing uh, Mr. Uh, famous set from Canada, Mr. L versus uh, uh, one of the Donkey Kong players there. Winning, uh, Cap Captain L winning the entire set until he got grabbed. And that's what this matchup's going to be like. Right now, it's pretty are, much even. I, I feel like these are the biggest X Okay, so if that if that thunder had hit him with the spike hitbox, that would have just been yep, over. No jump. Big Muffin finally getting on the board. Mm, it's, I don't it's know how I feel about that up smash connecting into thunder. Let's I see. feel like okay, one more. Yeah, one more, and he's dead. Especially with this amount of rage. Ooh, the so sour spot right there. Yep. Do you think McMuffin wanted stuff? Is that it? Yep. That's it! That, we won neutral Ooh, three, three times! times. <laughs> three times exactly! I think that these would you say that like characters like DK and Bowser are the biggest X factors when it comes to these competitive tournaments? Because yes, they do get comboed to hell and back, but it's they, they definitely are but, but huge these, X factors. But these win only having to win neutral three times to net a stock in a game where Awful SD, he did not have his jump. In a game where you only have two stocks to work with? Uh, I, I do feel that, that Bowser is the big, uh, bigger X Factor he, since he does have more tools than neutral. But both huge X Factor, like both huge characters that can just bring comebacks like that. Uh, One more. Mm, right? Uh, oh no, or needs rage. He needs rage. Like, he, yeah, he, right there, he didn't want to go for it. He wasn't going to take it. Oh. Uh, this one, mm, Ooh, really that's good great matchup. match from. Okay, so next one will take it, I believe. Nero, going for the smart thing. I've seen so many players go for a neutral getup. Like w once they get grabbed out of the first neutral getup, they get well for the second time, thinking that they won't grab, they won't be grabbed again. That was an, that was a huge combo from Nero, but it only netted him like 19%. Is that no? No, okay, he was so out of the percent. So yeah. now DK has to try to. Nope. <laughs> Bad DI from the back here there. I don't I didn't think he expected that to kill. So he DI'd it incorrectly. Or he was expecting a nair probably, but McMuffin taking first game against Nero. I guess that works. Just raw back air. This week's um, yeah, it works. It's really strong. I know I know it's strong. It's just that I didn't think that Nero would be caught dashing on this natural platform to be hit by it. Uh, he might have messed up an input. You might have wanted to drop off the platform and forward air. Oh yeah, that's that's always true. Giving him the benefit of the doubt. Game two will be taken to Lilac. Uh, this stage is really good for Pikachu, from what I from what I've heard. Because of the oh. because of the angles of the stage, Pikachu can, uh, of course, uh, quick attack cancel on stage for free, basically, right? Yep. So it's gonna be good with for uh, Nero's movement. It's gonna allow him to just run around circles like he wanted to game one. And right here we see how the matchup has to be played. Um, that was a really weird like slide with the footstool. Mm -hmm. But um, Nero has to be, has to treat it 
like play it the, like the, you the, would the so Okay, play, I'm sorry, but okay. right, let me like you okay. continue, you continue. The, he has to treat it like it, like it's battle their sizes right now, their character sizes. He could choose the quick small one that can that will run circles around his opponent but can't take too much damage and all Donkey Kong has to do is just kind of sit back and wait for his opportunity. Yep. So, and what were you going to say? It's, it's essentially like how you have to play this matchup correctly is like fighting a, a Little Mac with KO Punch the first six seconds. You have to you have to be confident in your approaches, but you can't because if you're too afraid of the hypothetical KO Punch, that just plays into the that, that person, helped, the that person who win. owns it. Yep. But uh, Nero getting caught by a Ding Dong. So uh, he's going to be down, and this is not a good position for Pikachu. At 50%, then he's gone. No. Oh, okay. I was going to say no. That is way no, no. too early. 30% is not going to do it, but with this amount of rage, Pikachu is going to be dead if he gets caught on one of these top platforms. Yep. I, I, no, th I think at this amount, at this percent, in general, he's going to get killed. Now for sure, if he can connect it still. Nero, what, what does Nero have to do? Because his edge guard attempts have been unsuccessful so far. It's surprisingly hard to, to edge guard uh, DK. That the uppy will power through so many moves that you can, or just power through your character when you try and edge guard them. Up smash not gonna take, but does huge chunk of percent. And it doesn't help that that McMuffin is doing a really good job of mixing up how he recovers. Sometimes fading back and just waiting. Back throw was not gonna do it just yet, but an incredible mash out by by Nero. He's yeah, like he's, you said. He's, he's fishing for these dares off stage, and I don't know if that is the correct option. I, I feel like that's the only option he has right there because if he gets hit by uh, by a uh, regular up B, he might die from it. I think he, McMuffin knows that Nero is going to be looking for these short hop dares to finish off his stock. That's going to be with the two falling, stock. Falling back air takes out Nero. McMuffin moving on. My goodness. This week's invader taken out by McMuffin in what's arguably a 7-3 7 matchup. So some people say that, but no. It's more like... More like 60 40 actually but that's what that's what happens when that's what happens when you smash lose four. yeah smash four. that's what happens when smash four i can't even form coherent yeah that was sentence correctly right now but really